Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Kaiser. Kaiser is a special card game because it uh, was invented in Canada. Um, and so Kaiser is a Canadian trick-taking game normally played by four people, two against two as partners sitting across from each other. A 32 card deck is used. Each trick is worth a point and there are two special cards. The lowest heart is worth 5 points to the player taking it in a trick, and the lowest spade is worth negative 3 points to the player taking it in a trick. The game goes by several alternative names. The name Kaiser, which is known nowadays, um, was introduced during World War I, uh, at which time the penalty spade card was seen as representing Kaiser Wilhelm II, um, and the bonus heart card was a French general draw free. Um, in Quebec, um, you may still hear the game be referred to as draw free and there are special cards for the game in which suits represent countries and the cards in the suit various military ranks. So the game does have its origins in uh, about uh, war and so in Saskatchewan um, the game is popular um, almost everywhere and so it's been played for several generations in uh, Canadian communities of French, German, and Ukrainian descent. Um, and so most people claim that the game was brought to Canada by uh, French, German, and Ukrainian ancestors. And so the earliest evidence of the game is from Quebec, where it was played um, by uh, uh, loggers. Um, so those are the individuals that cut trees down. And so... Um, that's probably um, towards the early 1900s and so well, that's enough about the history of the game it is quite a rich history I apologize for being so passionate but it is our beautiful country and so that is why I went on a bit of a tangent there but let's get right into the game the game is played with 32 cards the seven through the ace in each suit However, the seven of spades is replaced by the three of spades and the seven of hearts is replaced by the five of hearts. Other than that, every other two through six um, is thrown away. Uh, the cards in each suit rank from high to low with ace being the highest and then uh, down to five or three being the lowest uh, depending on uh, which suit you're talking about because once again the spades will have the three of spades rather than the seven of spades and the seven of hearts will be replaced by the five of hearts the objective of the game um, so while this is a trick taking game in which each trick is worth one point um, in addition the five of hearts is worth um, five points and the three of spades is worth negative three points to the side which takes them in their tricks the team which bids higher chooses the trump suit and tries to take at least as many points as as they bid. So in terms of the deal, uh, the deal and play are clockwise. The first dealer is chosen at random. One way to deal the cards around to the players singly until uh, someone receives a jack. After each hand, the, the turn to deal passes to the left. Uh, the dealer deals out all the cards to the players clockwise one at a time. So that everyone has eight. Any player who has dealt no aces, no picture cards, and no three or five can throw in the hand as a missed deal. The cards will then be shuffled and re dealt to everyone by the same dealer. Each player, in turn, beginning with the player at the dealer's left, has one opportunity to bid. They may pass or bid a number. The possible bids are from uh, nine to twelve. Um, either with a trump suit or a no trumps. So as you can say, uh, we can bid 9 or we can bid 9 no. That means 9 no trumps. The trump suit is not specified in the bid, but a player who wants to play no trumps must say so in the bid. For example, 10 no. A bid in no trumps outranks an equal bid in a suit, so the possible bids in ascending order are 9, 9 no, 10, 10 no, 11, 11, no, etc. The maximum possible bid is 12, no. If a player bids, their player must be higher than that of the previous bid, except for 
that the dealer has a special privilege and that the, the, the dealer only needs, needs to equal the previous bid in order to win the bid. So, um, in this case, uh, just looking at our hand, um, we'll pass here just for the sake of it. Uh, do note that if all players pass and it gets to the dealer, uh, the dealer must uh, bid the minimum, at least. Um, and so the, the dealer is essentially forced to bid. The highest bidder names trumps, unless the bid was no trumps, and leads a card to the first trick. Play is clockwise. Each subsequent player must play a card of the same suit as the lead card. If able to. If unable to, they may play any other card they wish. If any trumps are played, the player of the highest trump wins the, the trick. If no trumps are in the trick, it is won by the highest ranking card of the lead suit. The winner of the trick leads the next trick. When all the cards have been played, the tricks are counted and scores are written down. So, it's quite simple, right? Um... Uh, just remember that you want to take the five of hearts and you don't want to take the three of spades. Standard trick taking rules apply. You must play a card of the lead suit if possible. If not, you may play any card. The winner of the trick is the player who played the highest ranking card in the lead suit. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Let us uh, just play. So the bid was nine in clubs, right? And we'll talk about the significance of the, the bid in scoring. Um, in terms of playing though, uh, since it was in clubs, uh, the trump suit is clubs. And so now we'll have to make sure that we either... Um, so we don't really have any clubs, and so we'll have to make sure that we can sort of uh, play this somewhat strategically. Uh, the player across from us is the one who bid. And so since they bid clubs, I am hoping... Uh, since we are on the same team, that they hopefully have um, some... Uh, I guess a lot of clubs so they bid the seven so that's really not beneficial since the king of clubs was just played i cannot beat the king of clubs so i do have to play the uh, queen whenever i can uh the player who played the ace of clubs uh took that trick right there now the eight of clubs was played i don't have a club i'll play my lowest ranking card i'll play my in this case, hearts was lead, and so I'll have to play a heart here. Um, my partner did play a trump um, suit. Remember, it doesn't matter what cards you use to win the trick. You just want to win the trick. That's the main uh, objective here. And so if you win the trick with aces, kings, queens, it's it's no different from winning with uh, fours, fives. Um, oh, well, not, not fours and fives, uh, with uh, sevens and eights. I do note that the uh, only cards that will be worth any points are the 5 and the 7. So, uh, sorry, the 5 of hearts and the 3 of spades, not the 7. So the 5 of hearts and the 3 of spades are the only ones worth any, or uh, not worth, I guess, worth negative or positive um, additional points. And so those are the only cards that you should be concerned about. Other than that, the main objective is just to win tricks. Ace of hearts was led. I'll have to play my lowest ranking heart here. That's my jack of hearts there. Now, the queen of diamonds will, was led. I'll have to play my lowest ranking diamond here. That would be my seven of diamonds. King of diamonds was led. I'll play my eight of diamonds. The Jack of Spades was led. I'll play my lowest spade. That's my Eight of Spades. As you can see, we simply continue trying to win tricks. Hearts were led. So I'll play my... Uh, my I guess I'll have to play my King of Hearts there. Right? Because standard trick-taking rules do apply. Now, the Jack of Clubs was led. I'll play my Ten of Spades. Okay, so let's talk about scoring now. Okay, so we finished the round. And so the score depends on the, the bid, 
the number of tricks taken and who took the five of hearts and the three of spades in their tricks. The first team to reach a cumulative score of 52 or more points wins the game. Each team counts how many points they have taken as follows. Uh, one point for each trick won. Um, five points for winning a trick containing the five of hearts. Uh, you lose three points for winning a trick containing the three of spades. And so the bidding team score. If the team which chose trumps took at least as many points as they bid, uh, they add to their score the number of points they took. If they took fewer points than their bid, they subtract their bid from their score. If the team which won the bid played with no trumps and took at least as many points as they bid, they double the number of points they took to their score. If they do not make their bid, they subtract double their bid from their score. The opponent score. If the opponents of the team which won the bidding have a cumulative score of less than, um, in this case, uh, 45, they simply score the points they took, irrespective of whether the bid was won or lost, and irrespective of whether it was played with or without trumps. It is possible for this team to score less than zero if they took the three of spades with fewer than three tricks. In this case, their cumulative score will go down. If the opponents of the bidding team have a cumulative score of 45 or more, they cannot add any points taken to their score, but they still lose points if they took less than zero in tricks. So, let's continue. Um, we lost nine points there because um, we took fewer points than our bid, and so we subtract our bid from our score. The opponents, um, they simply scored the points that they took. Um, as long as it's uh, less than 45. Uh, sorry, so that's their uh, cumulative score. Not the score in their hand, but the total score. So right now, their cumulative score is 3. So if your cumulative score, aka your total score, is less than 45, you score the points you took. If your cumulative score is greater than 45, you cannot add any points taken to your score. The first team to reach a, a cumulative um, score of 52 or more points uh, win, wins the game. And so, you might be saying, <laughs> well, how would you go about winning the game then? Okay, and so what you would have to do is you'd have to be at uh, 44, and then you'd have to win 8 points uh, in, in a game. So, in a round, sorry, right? Because 44 plus 8 will get you 52. And so that is, I guess, the strategy there. Um, and so, uh, let us simply uh, look. And so, that's just a basic, I guess, playing. Uh, do note that we're going to simply... Um, continue right but remember that the bidding team if they take their bid they keep the points if they took fewer points they subtract the bid from their overall score if they won the bid with no trumps they double the points they took if they don't make their bid then they uh subtract double their bid from their score now let's get uh, right into the next round here so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the hand we have uh, we're going to see that it's not that beneficial, so we'll pass. We are not going to bid here. So they bid a seven of diamonds. Um, and so diamonds are the trump suit. Clubs were played. I do have to lead with the club. So let us look. I have two very special cards in my hand right now. I have the uh, the five of hearts as well as, as, well as the uh, three of spades. And so what I'll have to do here is I'll have to look at the... Uh, what I could really do, right? When do I want to play the three of spades and when do I want to play the five of hearts? And so when I want to play the three of spades is when we sort of, uh, when the trick will be won by the enemy team. When I want to play the five of hearts is when the trick will be won by my team. The reason being is the five of hearts is worth five points and the three of spades is worth uh, negative three points. So clubs were played here in lead. Um, I do have a club, and so I'll have to play my jack. And so um, the diamond here led the trick, right? And so that's hard. 
Um, I'll, I'm not going to play my 5 of hearts because that is dumb. What I'll do is I'll play my 9 of hearts there. Once again, the diamond leads to the next trick with a ten uh, with a queen of hearts. A diamond was played. I don't have... Um, so I know a diamond was played. So they're going to win this trick if I play the three of spades. What I'll do is I'll let the, this team win that trick there on the right. Now a heart was played. I do have to play a heart. And so we played the ace of diamonds, and so we took that heart there. That was quite strategic by my partner there. Now a spade was played. I'll play my spade. And then I'll simply play my diamond. As you can see, the game is quite simple. They did not make their bid. So we scored seven points there. They did not make their bid. And so they lost seven points there. We scored seven just simply as a coincidence because we... It's took seven right we took the five of hearts and then we took um i guess two tricks as well so that wraps up how to play the card game kaiser um it's quite simple um very fun it is a canadian card game right so that's a bonus in my opinion at least right some canadian heritage there um uh, but that's essentially it i hope you enjoyed how to play kaiser thank you for watching and remember to always play at least one card game every single day.